Super Bowl halftime show, and what a show we got from Rihanna. Michael. Yes, yes, we did, George. A great show indeed. She took the halftime show to new heights, literally. And our Kana Whitworth, she's here with me right now. She has more <laughs> on the show. Good morning, Kana. Good morning. I kept asking people, is she going to have a special guest? And boy, did she yes, ever she did. <laughs> at the show. So really, Rihanna performing with authority, right, as a musical icon, but also with subtle nods that, yes, she is pregnant again. And it was no mistake that the soon-to-be mother of two started and ended her show alone on a floating stage at what her producer said was the top of the world. Overnight, Rihanna making a surprise announcement. Baby, what you wanted? The superstar revealing she's pregnant with her second child in front of a packed stadium during the Apple Music Super Bowl halftime show. Don't call me on my blood. Her rep confirming her growing family to ABC News after she wowed fans from a floating platform in the sky while singing and dancing her way through the biggest hits of her career. Rihanna holding her own with a purely solo performance of her catalog in the jam-packed 13-minute show. Her partner, ASAP Rocky, cheering her on from the sidelines. We were on a grass field, and that gave us some limitations with the type of set, the size of the set that we could have. We had an open roof. We had an open roof, and uh, her team was like, why don't we just do it all in the air or as much as possible? Rihanna clearly enjoying the return to the stage. The billionaire mogul even taking a moment to touch up with some Fenty beauty during her performance. But the mother-to-be still barely breaking a sweat. And Rihanna wasn't the only star lending her powerhouse vocals to the biggest night in football. Kicking off the night, Emmy winner and Abbott Elementary star Cheryl Lee Ralph performing Lift Every Voice and Sing. And Babyface with America the Beautiful. And like with from sea to sea. And country music star Chris Stapleton bringing coaches and players to tears with his soulful rendition of the national anthem. And Oscar winning CODA actor Troy Kotzer joining as an ASL interpreter. But it all culminated with Rihanna singing Bright Like a Diamond. Michael sat down with the Barbadian beauty just before she hit the field to talk about her triumphant return to center stage. How did it finally feel for you to get back on stage, especially this big of a stage? It's foreign. It's, it feels foreign because it's not getting back on the stage like I've ever been before. Her musical director, Adam Blackstone, he's known for adding a little spice to some yes, of these halftime is. shows. Would you agree him and Mama Riri just dumping hot sauce all over that thing? They were incredible. Adam is <laughs> an incredible um, guy to work with. And of course, we have Rihanna. Hi, you can't mess that up. Uh -uh, it was fantastic. They call those moments being Blackstone. Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. I think Ken is excited moment. about the halftime show. <laughs> you get Kana's happy this morning. Yeah. She is. She is you I thought it. I was dancing earlier. You should have saw Kana when she walked in. Oh. She was. She was really all into it. Yeah. Oh.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.